It is to you, O God, that we gather today. Hear us as we lift our prayer to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praises. Psalm 65, The Earth's Joy It is good to give thanks to our God for the boundless mercy which renews us and makes us whole. Happy are those who know this and open themselves to his love. You make the sunrise and the sunset shout for joy. You are the earth's fertility. The hills deck themselves with green. The meadows adorn themselves with flocks. The valleys gown themselves with grain. They dance together. They join in song. Your law governs her cycles of snow, flood, and rain. You crown the year with abundance. The wild lands are watered with the dew. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes towards the mountains. Where shall come my help? I lift up my eyes to the Lord, who watches over us, whether coming or going, now and forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A number of years ago, I had the privilege and blessing, along with some friends of mine, to fly over to Europe, and one of the places we went and visited was in Austria, a place where many of you probably know, some of who have been there, the town of Salzburg, where they filmed The Sound of Music in 1965 one of my favorite musicals. But being there just elevated my joy of the sound of music more than anything else. We just stood, we went up and we hiked on top of the mountain, the same one Maria did. And just in that breeze with the blue sky and the majestic mountains still alive everywhere, Oh my gosh, it was truly amazing. Because it was there, Maria's beautiful voice continues to echo in memory. Some of her famous lyrics were inspired by this very psalm that we have today, Psalm 121. It's a lovely one, inviting us to keep looking up to the hills to the mountains, and to the hallowed kingdom beyond the clouds. A reminder that our time here is temporary, that something so much bigger and beautiful and amazing than even the mightiest mountain ranges await each of us. have sung for a thousand years. The hills fill my heart with the sound of music. My heart wants to sing every song it hears. Together, our voices are lifted in humility and trust as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, all of creation shouts your majesty and reflects your splendor. Open our eyes to the budding flowers and the setting sun. Fill our ears with the song of your birds. Let it draw our thoughts to you and remind us that life is beautiful, both here and beyond. We pray in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. And may Almighty God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, hold you in blessing and protection now and forever. Amen. Our prayer has ended. Let us go give thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow. I've heard before